going to be repeating the microphone today. I won't be keeping you under pressure, it's this one over here. The reason why I have three of them is because I want to show you my personal, um, I'll call it, well, path of upgrading, let's call it that way. These are the three microphones I own. And uh, the reason why uh, there's so many is because just like most of you, I started small and then upgraded according to my needs. Now first I had one of these, this is a Logitech microphone, PC USB microphone standard one. I bought it for something about between 25 and 30 euro, it still holds that price range. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a regular around the mill microphone you want to use for example for online gaming, whatever. If you are really cheap like I was back then, you know, the meaning that I didn't want to spend that much on it, I didn't see the importance of it back then. Um, then I started, you know, recording a few things, uh, playing around with my camera, I realized, okay, the camera's internal microphone is not good for recording outside, uh, there's a lot of ambient noise, um, I needed something that records a little bit clearer, that can ignore uh, all, these, all these noises that were made around me, so I took this one, that is a Philips microphone, and um, the advantage of that one was that while the, the clarity of the sound is not that good, it sounds a little bit muffled, and the advantage of this was simply that it would record things in very loud environments and you would be able to hear mostly what you wanted to hear. You wouldn't be able to hear it very good, but you wouldn't hear most of the other stuff you don't want. So this was a good microphone, I still use it, you've seen it in some of the reviews, it's a good outdoor microphone. But then again, I, there are a few videos that I'm you know, practicing with more or less, that I'm experimenting with, that I'm planning to do in the future. And they will not involve outside. But for example, this one, um, and that's why I needed something of a uh, higher grade, something a little bit more professional. And I, I thought I needed a studio microphone. So I started researching and I uh, came upon Entusky's SL300. And I was very curious uh, to test it to see if it's good enough. But from what I read, from what I've heard from a few people, I know I had a possibility to more or less uh, test most of the more famous ones within the price range between 150 you know, euro and um, about 350 something like that and uh, I have to tell you that uh, what I heard from this microphone impressed me, it had the best value, basically the best bang for the buck and uh, I decided to go with it and to test it a little more extensively. I will show you today what you can hear when you record your voice with it and uh, I will also tell you what my opinion of it is, if I still think it, it's good, if I think you guys should get it, in case you have some needs. Um, this is a studio microphone, so obviously it's a hard read, and these two guys here, and uh, it costs so, so far, it's uh, 119 at the moment, um, basically 119.99 I believe, euro. Uh, additionally, I bought this pop filter, if you want to do proper recordings, you should get one, it's not obligatory, but it will help you remove this popping sound when you see the letter P in different words and I also bought the stand the uh, pop filter was 29.99 euro and I compared I believe Vanderhoen and other places like that I was pretty satisfied with the fact that the others also cost about as much so I decided to stick with this producer since I heard pretty good things about it and um, you know if you're gonna buy a stand for a microphone you might as well also stick with the, uh, the original stand because you know it's gonna fit well so, before I go in depth about this microphone and its uh, test, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the stats of the microphone and uh, what functions it has mostly, because that's very interesting to most of you, and then we're going to do a few uh, tests with the recording. So stay tuned. So let's talk about the SL300 from Editor's Keeps. Um, the interesting thing about this microphone is a condenser microphone, omnidirectional one, meaning that, that you can record from more than one direction. Um, once you plug it in, you see this blue light glow. I find this light to be especially appealing, it's really pretty and uh, it's functional. It does tell you that everything's working right. Uh, the, the drivers for this microphone have been hardware pre-installed, that means once you connect the microphone to your computer, you will not have any trouble. Um, the microphone will be recognized by the computer and pretty much uh, ready to go on the spot. You do get a few additional things for your buck. Um, on one end, for the 120 euro, you do get this nice shock mount. It's really well, well made, excellent quality, and it does look pretty, especially because it's part of the microphone um, and it's the same color. 
is very appealing personally to me. Another thing that you do get is uh, this carrying case. Now the case itself is uh, very sturdy, I like it a lot. It's also a great addition to the whole package because you can actually use it to move your microphone. You can put the microphone in here, cables from this end, and of course your shock mount. Close it, as you see this whole foam inside is going to keep it nice and safe. And you can carry it away if you need to go to another studio for example. So this is a, definitely a great thing you get for your money here. And um, I'm personally a sucker for extras, anything you can give me on top of my purchase I will be very happy about. And if it's something this nice, even better. Um, like I said, this is very sturdy plastic. It is plastic but uh, it reminds me a lot of a suitcase, so it's very sturdy. And you definitely want something sturdy for you to carry your microphone in because this is after all relatively expensive equipment now it's not the most expensive one this is something we'll be talking about in the positive section but um, it's definitely something you want to keep safe once you're traveling now as you can see like we said I have a pop filter and I have a stand for the microphone um, the pop filter cost me 29.99 euro and the stand was 24.99 now these do not come included Whoops is not come included but um, I would strongly advise you to get them because um, they contribute to your uh, recordings a lot they're very useful and um, I personally like the quality that was delivered here again I chose the ones from Addictus Keys because I had the possibility to try these I have someone who already had something like that not something like that exactly this product as a matter of fact and uh, I went to his home and had the possibility to try it's a friend of mine I've also had a possibility to try a few other microphones from the condenser type, so I compared sound quality and other advantages that I saw in them and the disadvantages, of course, and uh, came to the conclusion this one's the one for me. But I will tell you why after we hear the recordings. Um, before that, I'll talk a little bit about the microphone, yet um, we have several functions here. Now, besides the extras that we spoke of, which are really nice, we do have the function that um, you have a switch here which will activate the minus 10 decibel effect. Now that these are hardware effects which are very useful because um, they can help you in a variety of cases. This is partially why I think that this microphone replaces the other one I showed you earlier. Because I told you the first one was just an all-rounder. If I play on the computer, if I talk over Skype, now I can do that with this microphone. And uh, the advantage is, for example, if I have a um, let's just say uh, TV running in the background now this TV is going to create a lot of noise for example so the person talking to me over Skype or playing with me online games whatever uh, will not enjoy listening to whatever's on the TV in the background it's actually more annoying for a person uh, on the other end of the line so what you do is just switch and the minus 10 decibel will activate you will hear that the voice will sound a lot quieter and um, that will make the whole recording of course uh, not sound as clear as before but the whole TV thing would disappear it sounds a lot like if you had a headphone um, really high quality headphones with a, with a microphone on them you know this thing where the person sounds kind of quieter but you hear nothing around them and this is exactly what you want and a microphone like that is definitely a great thing um, I'm pretty happy with this function it does come in handy relatively rare in my case simply because um, I don't really have a TV. <laughs> uh, another function we got on the other end is a switchboard which will cut out a certain frequency of, of sounds. Now this is great if you have specific sounds like for example a ventilator in the room. I uh, found that it works pretty well, you cannot hear it and um, you don't need to do some more editing by software, it's really easy. You flip the switch, you keep doing your work, everything's fine. So these are very very nice functions that I'm a big fan of. Um, Another thing that I generally value about this microphone is the fact that it has a pretty nice feel to it. Uh, when you're holding it in your hand, if you lift it or whatever, um, the, the body is, uh, is brass, but it's um, really nice. Um, he did say that it's a pretty microphone and it also is a heavy one. And I've said in my previous reviews, I'll say it again, I'm a person who knows the value of heavy items. Now if you grab the first microphone I showed you earlier, it's a completely plastic microphone. It feels very light and that makes it feel cheap. And the second microphone is partially plastic, partially metal. The same kind of issue more or less. With this thing here, you won't have the feeling that you're holding something cheap in your hands. And this is something nice, you know, if you're going to spend a lot of money or 
you know, for some of you maybe this is not a lot of money, but in any case, if you're gonna spend money, you will want to get quality in return. And uh, I find that weight in these kind of items definitely is a sign of good quality, well, unless they somehow would put a few stones in there. <laughs> Well, jokes aside, um, I promised you I have some recordings. I made my girlfriend sing happy birthday to you. And um, the reason for that is because my voice just isn't the best kind of voice. It's kind of microphone. This is a studio microphone, so I can imagine people singing, um, recording uh, musical instruments, you know, all this kind of stuff. And this is where this microphone will shine. The more interesting your voice, the more... Um, just the, the, the better highs and lows in your voice, the, the better bass in your voice, and all these things will play a role. My voice I find personally quite boring, so if I record something, it sounds kind of flat, even on the best microphone in the world, you know, if, if your voice is not made for singing, don't sing. And uh, this is the issue I had here, I wanted a voice that would sound a little more interesting, that's why I pulled my girlfriend, uh, she's not a singer or something, but you know, she has a more interesting voice. So let's hear those voice samples, then we'll talk about the good, the bad, and so on. I'll see you then. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear boyfriend. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear boyfriend. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear boyfriend. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear boyfriend. Happy birthday to you. What do I like about the SL300 condensed microphone from Editor's Keys? Well, I just realized that when I was more or less uh, demonstrating the product, I kind of spoke about everything I do like about it. There are just a few more things that I might or might not have mentioned. On the one end um, is the light. Now this blue light on the silver background really looks awesome. I really like it, I'm a fan of the appearance. Uh, you guys don't know it, but I actually have a keyboard with a blue backlight, a mouse with a blue backlight. So this really fits on my desk beautifully. I'm a big fan of that and uh, really like the way it looks with the whole desk. Also what I do like is the fact that um, this pop filter is very flexible. I've seen other pop filters as well. They're generally also very good quality, but um, I like this one as well. It's just a good pop filter. It works very well. I like the studio logo on it. I know these are very small things you probably want. What the hell are you telling me, you know? But the truth of the matter is that um, earlier I did mention everything that there is to say about the positives. There are a lot of features here. For the price of 120 euro, you do get extras, not just the microphone itself. You do get this nice shock mount. You do get the awesome case for carrying it around, which are not always something that uh, things that you can expect in this, um, in this, especially in this price range. Uh, what is really awesome and to be considering is the fact that this microphone is uh, currently available at a promotional price, usually it's more expensive, so I would advise you if you want to buy it, um, go ahead and check it as soon as possible. I do not know if this price will hold and how long it's going to hold, but at this price currently it's just a killer. It's really sad that this microphone um, was, not, uh, was not reviewed more often, especially within um, certain certain internet pages that I've seen they compare condenser, uh, condenser microphones and some of them didn't mention this which was surprising to me because I actually had the possibility to test these microphones before I purchased that particular one so I tested this one I had the possibility to test a few other ones also more expensive ones and I have to be honest this one sounded best to me that is also why I got it and if you're gonna get this microphone I strongly advise you to get the pop filter and the stand for it um, you could buy a pop filter pretty much anywhere. Um, I chose this one from Editor's Keys because first I like the studio logo they have on it. Uh, I thought it would be okay if I ordered just everything from one place and the difference in price between this and Amazon was about a euro so it was not worth it for me to go and buy from somewhere else. Um, Editor's Keys does give you a warranty for these items and it's very very good. Um, 
generally the items have a three year warranty on them so if something was not alright with it they would replace it they have an excellent customer service um, this is something that I've had the possibility of, te of testing multiple times they have a chat they respond almost instantly even if you write them an email you get a very quick response and this is not something you get every time from all producers you know sometimes you buy something you write them with a complaint it's gonna take a long time for them to respond um, they're gonna be rude sometimes that's not my experience with editor skis now I um, most of the time I contacted them with various questions about the product before I actually ordered it and um, they were very friendly um, they helped me a lot and uh, they responded really quickly and this is something I value a lot because if I'm gonna give them my money I want a good product but I also want good service because Nowadays, this is what sets most companies apart, you know, besides the, the quality of the product itself, not everyone can offer you the service that corresponds to the quality of the product. And here you're really getting the full package. So if you're on the lookout for a good quality microphone, this is a great one that I can um, definitely say that I like it a lot. You did hear the recordings and the recordings sound pretty interesting in any case. Uh, the first microphone, as you saw, is very loud but very far from clear. Um, you hear ambient noise, although we record in a perfectly quiet environment, even then you hear some kind of noise in the background, the uh, voice does not sound quite as interesting, okay, she has a pretty cute voice, but uh, it just doesn't sound as good as later on. On the second microphone, when I say later on, I mean the, on this one, uh, on the second microphone we heard the thing I spoke of, it's uh, quite quiet, you don't hear that anything in the background mostly. But the voice also sounds different, the voice sounds very quiet, very muffled. This is the advantage that I was looking for when I wanted to be outside and record something in a loud environment. So that's why I got this microphone and you did a good job for that. But uh, if I want to have the same effect at home, I'll just use it on the SL300 again, switch minus 10 decibels and boom. Or the other end, you know, for the frequency adjustment is basically an equalizer. And, um, on the third microphone, the SL300, the sound, the voice sounds vibrant, it sounds loud, it sounds clear. It's really awesome. I'm a big fan of it. Definitely um, the best sounding, uh, without any doubt, the best sounding microphone within this price range and uh, the best sounding microphone from the ones I had the possibility to test. So this was why I didn't in any way, you know, have any doubts that this was going to be the microphone for me. It's a great uh, tool if you want to record. Uh, vocals, you want to sing, if you want to uh, record any kind of music, you have a musical instrument, this is the way to go. This is a great microphone for these things and um, you guys could hear it as well, it just sounds really good. Uh, another thing that I like about this microphone is, as I've said, the whole overall build quality is very sturdy, it feels very well built. Um, Editor's Keys uh, told me that they actually build these things by hand and um, I'm willing to believe them. This could be handmade indeed because you can you can really feel it. This it really it really is very sturdy. It, it's really built very properly, and I like that about the the microphone as well. So I don't see why they should lie to me. So in any case, I like this microphone a lot. It's no secret. And um, but that is something almost usual for the products I review here. If I buy something, then I like it mostly. Um, haven't had a chance to. Uh, to review something I really hate so far because as you guys know I'm also going for things I like and I'm also trying to recommend good items, good products to you so that if you want to buy them you go for those and not something that's not good um, but you know if, you, if any of you has a good microphone on my, in mind that they think could challenge this one if they have, the, have had the possibility to compare you know you have years of your own I get mine so maybe it's something else sounds better to you I doubt it but if there is one I'd be more than glad to hear your suggestions and if I have the possibility I would definitely go ahead and compare them. For now this is definitely my top dog when it comes to uh, recording uh, tools. Um, but enough about the good, I've spoken quite a lot about the things I like about this microphone. Let's go to the ones I don't like as much or I think should have been better. I'll see you then. It's hard to talk about something that you like this much and still speak about the negatives about it. Uh, However, there are a few things that I'm missing here and I would like to address these issues. First of all, a very important thing that I want to address is the fact that um, it lacks a mute button. Now, this is, this is not something usual for these kind of microphones, don't get me wrong, it's not something that every microphone this type will have. 
but it's something that's really nice because this microphone, if you buy this microphone as I did, you will probably have it replace any other microphone on your system. You know, you're gonna use it to Skype, you're gonna use it to play online games or whatever, you're gonna use it to record your singing, your, um, your you know, your, if you're making music with a, with the guitar or whatever, you know, you will use it for everything. This is an all-rounder here, it's a really, really good product. But for things like Skype and, and online gaming, stuff like that, which you will probably also do, um, a mute button around here would have been awesome. You just click and they can't hear you anymore. It's just something that I'm missing and it saddens me a bit that there's not such a thing. I don't know how hard it would have been to implement, I don't think it would have been very hard. But um, this is a studio microphone, so usually if you're recording anything, you will have software which you will have to click, you know, record, stop recording, etc. So this is uh, this is generally not designed to be used as a Skype if, uh, microphone, for example. But it is, it will beat any microphone that is Skype already out there in this task as well. It's just you know. If you have a Lamborghini, you will be able to drive faster than anyone else, even if you're not on the racetrack. It's that simple. Of course, unless you're going off-road, but we're not going there here. My point being that um, it's an awesome microphone. It's a small thing to complain about, I know, but it's something that I really would have loved to see on it. I'm um, Sometimes I'm missing it. Of course, you have the option to just pull out the cable from the bottom and that's it. But I feel as if it's not such an elegant solution. You know, it could have just, could have just been a button down here. Um, I would have liked to see it. Um, or even a switch like these up there, something like that. Um, it's a small thing, like I said. Another thing that uh, that I'm missing here is the fact that the stand is not included. Now I know we're already getting the shock mount. We're already getting the the nice um, box with it. We're getting quite a lot. We're getting a lot of bang for our buck. But if you want all the bells and whistles. You're gonna need a stand if you're like me and you didn't have one. Now, if you have a studio and stuff, you're gonna have several ones, different ones, different angles, etc. But uh, the simple desktop stand is something that um, I just would have wished was there. It's my personal stance on it. You must not forget that you could have it hanging over your head. You could have stand. I mean, there are different stands and would fit them. So uh, this is not something that is usual again with these more professional products. Uh, it is something that I would have wished and. Perhaps it's not very fair to mention it here with the drawbacks simply because first of all currently with this uh, promotion that's going on the price is so much lower than the original price that you could easily buy the stand and the pop filter and that's why most people put them as well like that too and, and you would still you know not be at the normal price so you know you're still buying it cheaper and you get these things anyway. Um, something that however did irritate me slightly was the fact that you do have to pay sh shipping even within the European Union. Um, again, this is not something that is uh, a uniform rule for all of them, all the producers of microphones that I know. Um, some of them, however, do deliver for free, you know, ship for free out, some of them don't. Again, um, if you just use the mic yourself, uh, I mean, what am I saying? If you order the mic and at the current price, you know, spend the reduced price, even if you buy all of these, and if you smack down um, another reduction coupon which are very easy to get I mean I'm not gonna I don't have to mention that there are sources like Google or uh, as a matter of fact if you ask the team from Editors Keys anything on their online chat you get a 5% reduction code if I'm not mistaken so it's fairly easy to drop the price a little bit more so this delivery is even with all these things as you see this microphone in my case I did not pay more than it would have cost normal so everything you see here, the shock mount, the mic, the cable obviously, the stand, the pop filter, delivery, tax, all of this did not cost more than the mic would have cost, you know, the, the basic package microphone shock mount and the box would have cost if it had been sold at the original price. So I was still below that, so it's still a very good buy and uh, I can still recommend it, but these are things that have been missing or that have been bothering me and I wanted to mention them. Um, I'm sure most of you will see it as I do and will say, hey, you know, it's a necessary evil. Um, and we'll just, you know, go, especially currently, as I've said, with a reduced price, this is a more than fair deal, even with these things not straight out included. 
I find it absolutely fair. And um, there's also something else. It's, uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Xbox One and the Force Kinect on it. You know, do you do they have to force you to buy the stand? I mean, would it be better if the stand was packaged with it and uh, you had to pay the 25 bucks on top? No, it wouldn't. Because some of you will have one and they won't need. So you know, you can you can see it as a bad thing. If you're someone like me who just doesn't have a stand, or if you do have a stand, you'll see it as a huge advantage because you say, yeah, they're not selling me the bullshit that I already have. I don't need one on a stand. I don't need one for my desk right now. That's stupid. So, in any case, this is not something that is necessarily bad from that point of view. And especially given these circumstances, I don't think that it's a big deal anyway. So, um, I'll tell you in a moment if you should buy it, in my opinion, or not. Although I think you guys know the answer already. See you then. So at the end of the day, the question we'll be all asking ourselves, will I recommend this product or will I not? Um, but you guys saw what I had to say before. There are almost no drawbacks to this one. And uh, in my opinion, this is one of the best, if not the best microphones you can currently buy at this price range and higher up to a certain point. It is just a wonderful, wonderful microphone. I can just really, honestly, strongly recommend it. And um, I think if anyone needs a microphone in order to record um, vocals, make music with an instrument, um, this thing is an all-rounder, you know, it sounds great. It works with pretty much everything, so it can replace your normal desk microphone, it can be used in a studio, it can, it can do all these things. And, and the package includes more than just that, you know, you get awesome service from uh, Editor's Keys, you have the options to get a coupon for an even greater reduction, um, you're flexible as to what you buy with this microphone, it's a beautiful part thing, you know, generally I can only recommend it. I'm, I'm really honest with you, I fall in love with this microphone, it's just awesome quality that they're offering. And um, yeah, like I said, be sure to buy it if you want, if you're looking for one of these. There's no better buy at the moment. Thanks a lot for watching. I'd be happy if you would rate, comment, and in case you're interested in further videos of this kind, subscribe. I'll be sure to deliver more, and I'll be sure to answer your comments in case you want to ask me something. So as I said, thanks for watching. Have a nice day or evening, depending on when you're watching.